Hello there, Gemini. How are you? Gemini, welcome to your love message for the middle 10 days of March of 2022. So roughly between March 11th and 20th. Gemini, thank you so much for your love, your support, your time, your energy, your positivity, the good vibes. I really, really do appreciate it. As always, I give that energy right back to you because you deserve it. Let's go ahead and jump into your love message. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anyone who's dealing with the Gemini, these messages could be for you. Please don't force the message if it doesn't fit, okay? Make sure that you're using your own intuition, judgment, and discernment when watching and listening. If the messages do resonate, then please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And also let me know in the comment box below how it's working out for you or any other interpretations you see. Messages for Gemini, middle 10 days of March 2022. All right, here's the last shuffle. Book of Love. Secrets. Retreat. Gemini, there may be something that you're finding out. Okay? There's, I feel, there, I feel like there's... Hmm. Possi there's a possibility of information that you could be learning, okay? And um, it feels like it's a very old secret. You find you may find it in a book or you may find it in a diary or an old recording or, or something to that nature, okay? But, um, but at any rate, you know, there's something that you find out. And I feel like it does kind of make you want to back away, okay? Um, and kind of fade into the shadows a little bit and kind of, you know, hmm, become unseen in a way. There's another way I can take this as well. I feel like some of you, you also may be learning something about yourself that makes you kind of want to fade away and, uh, and back out, okay? But let's keep going here. Okay, we have captured. We have the future. Seduction. Mm, okay. Gemini, I feel like maybe for some of you, you learn about a pattern, okay? I feel like there's a pattern that's happening in your relationship, but you're, it's not with you, it's with them, okay? What happens when they get what they want? What happens after that, you know? There's something behind that. There's a sense, I feel there's a sense of like claustrophobia or being trapped, being held captive. And it does feel in, in for some of you that that does mean in, in extreme ways. Okay. But for many others of you, it may not necessarily be that extreme. It just definitely feels like, okay, it feels like, it also feels like this person was just seducing you to get your heart where it wanted your heart um maybe trying to like maybe promising you a future okay and you learn all of a sudden you somehow learn as well that that wasn't true that they were just stringing you along okay let's let's go under the deck here we got real deal tie the knot 
heartbreak, and then lucky in love. Okay? Yeah, I feel like definitely for sure um, there, was a, there was a certain degree, Gemini, of maybe you definitely feeling like this person was the real one for you. You maybe even have wanted to tie the knot with this person, get married, make things more secure, okay? Uh, attach a tether to yourself between this person. But honestly, the truth is, is that it was a very toxic tether, okay? Because we do have the heartbreak here, and then we do have the lucky and love energies here. And with these two energies here, Gemini, um, it just really feels like, uh, it really feels like the intention is, is like, yes, this person was trying to make you under, make you feel as though they were, you were lucky to have them. Okay. Like the tethers the it feels like the tethers that they were trying to build with you was more to, uh, going to be more for the benefit of them. Okay. You're actually lucky to find out about the situation early enough so that you don't end up like people from this person's past. Let's pull some tarot. Gemini. Some of you may already be in this situation now. Some of you, uh, it's it's in the beginning stages. I do feel like there may have been some red flags that you saw. But you had hope for the future as well, you know? But they took advantage of that. This sounds for some of you, this may have been someone from your past already, like from your past. And this feels like, you know, you may have already gotten out of that situation. But it feels like for some of you, this may be like the answer or the confirmation from something that you always wanted to know before. It's like the answer from a past situation that you that you never knew. And now you finally are learning. Okay, so we have the five of wands here. Okay. The king of wands. And then the chariot. So a lot of action. A lot of action energy here. Let's actually pull these up closer. A lot of action here, okay? Being in chaos, looking at chaos. Um, something I look at when I see this card is that like all these people are like engaged in battle, but this one guy right here actually isn't really fighting. He's more so just kind of He's not sparring or nothing. He's kind of just like looking at the other people fight as he runs by. Okay. So this is like you trying to step away from chaos. All right. This King of Wands energy, Gemini, could indicate maybe someone else that that um, that it, that it has entered your life that could be of interest for you. Okay. But this also could be you with that energy, with that wants energy, just kind of saying, just kind of looking at all the chaos that's happening and just trying to find the best way to avoid chaotic situations. And with the chariot energy, the chariot energy is telling me that you're going to be brought to something um, that's going to actually be more worth your while here. It's telling me that here in this energy, yeah, in this connection, in this energy here, um, you know, all of this chaos here that you're in, it's not really worth your while. You actually do have things more on the horizon that's going to be more worth it to you, okay? We have the Page of Cups. So there's, I really already feel like there's like very little emotion even in this situation as it is at this point, okay? For you. Now we have the Knight of Arrows, okay? 
under the Knight of Ar the Knight of Arrows under the King of Wands tells me that there is definitely going to be some clear communication. That is definitely your uh, energy, Gemini. Okay, there's going to be some clear and open and quick communication. It's going to be concise. It's going to be to the point. Okay, because you don't have time for this drama, this nonsense anymore. Okay, like your patience is short. You don't have too much energy for this. All right. And then the Fool card. Okay, so then the Fool card does indicate, again, a new beginning, which we already know that you're wanting for that anyways. Or especially after you realize kind of what's, what you're dealing with, you're going to be wanting a new beginning and you're going to be brought towards that there with the Chariot energy for sure. Let's look under the deck. So, yeah, so we have the Eight of Cups. So, again... Walking away emotionally from the situation. Like I said, you already do have like little emotions here, there with the Page of Cups. There's some emotions. Yeah, you've expressed some emotion there, but honestly, it really hasn't grown into anything that you really feel at this point is really worth keeping around you. Especially, I just feel like you are already backing out anyway because you are already seeing red flags here with this person, like I said. So we have the Hermit card here. So this is being more in tune with yourself and with what yourself needs. And then we have the Eight of Coins there. So now this is like doing the hard work, working on yourself, working on your money, you know, putting forward, uh, putting forward a lot of effort into uh, brand new projects here. The Emperor and then the Sun. Okay, so wow, I really, really like that energy for you guys, because with the Emperor card, this is you taking the initiative on your own life. And with the self, this is for you um, recognizing um, just really all of you. This is you like really recognizing who you are as yourself. Okay, and being in yourself authentically. And that gives you the strength to be able to pursue what it is that you really have lined up for you. I really feel like in in love for this time frame for for many of you this is where you're going to be coming out of a very toxic situation where you know there was a lot of secrets and lies going on and um you know a little bit of like you know maybe sex was used as a weapon in that in that situation i feel like you're going to be moving out of that okay you're going to be clearing your head by really diving into a lot of uh, like diving headfirst into a lot of different endeavors that re are really more self-pleasing to you, okay? Um, and really bring out the identity uh, of yourself, okay, Gemini? So I really feel like this is a good time for finding yourself, okay? And then maybe even, you may even find out some secrets about yourself, you know, in the best in the best way, no matter if they are dark or, or light, you know, but what... What you will find is you will end up learning things about yourself. And let's go ahead and pull some chakra oracle cards and see if we can't get any more information, Gemini. And if I call you any other sign, I do apologize. <laughs> but in my mind, you're Gemini. We have inner child. Oh, wow. Solar, pro, uh, solar, pro, uh, I can't ever say it. <laughs> um, but the solar plexus chakra, inner child, playfulness, lightheartedness, innocence, wonder. It almost looks like the full energy, yeah? <laughs> I really like that energy. So, yes, again, dive into yourself, I feel. Go back into yourself. Look at some of the things that some. What, what was your dream when you were little? How far have you strayed away from that? You know? Sometimes, I think I read somewhere that it, it was on the internet. <laughs> so I can't tell you exactly where, but it was somewhere on the internet that, you know, like, you're more likely to, like, be happy, be the most happy uh, when you pursue, like, your childhood desires. You know, so what about that made you happy? Go back to that. Let's get one more card. Okay, emotions. Let's 
feelings, expression, moods, balance. Okay. And then we also have 1111 there. So this does speak about balance. Okay. I feel like once some of you kind of step into your own identity, you'll be able to sense yourself in a better light. You'll be able to express yourself more authentically. Okay. If, I feel like some of you may be dealing with certain mood swings right now, but I do feel like you are able to handle those things. Again, once you get back to a happier space, okay? You know, there may be some things that you need to find out. Do a lot of soul searching, okay? Once you step away out of this toxic environment, do, do a lot of soul searching, all right? So Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave the messages there, but... I would love it if you could hit the like button, share, subscribe, okay? Um, if Let me know in the comment box how everything is working out, okay? And also let me know any other interpretations that you may have seen. Um, it's been so much fun here with you, Gemini. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next message. Bye.